Released for the Wii this past May was a remake of Namco Bandai's classic 1997 PlayStation side-scroller Klonoa. I had heard a lot of good things about this game before I got a chance to play it, but I really had no idea what to expect going into it. Well, I'd like to thank Namco Bandai for providing me a copy because it was a blast to play. Klonoa is not your standard 2D side-scroller, as it has some really cool design features that keep your gaming experience really enjoyable. So, if you haven't yet checked it out, here are my thoughts on Klonoa. The game begins in what I found to be a pretty creepy cutscene, describing that nobody in the land of Phantom Meal can remember their dreams except for our protagonist, Klonoa, who has the same dream every night where he sees a spaceship crash into a nearby mountain, and he meets a floating spirit ball thing named Hupo. One day that dream comes true, so Klonoa and Hupo head to the top of the mountain to investigate. It turns out an evil being named Gaudius and his companion Joker have kidnapped a young girl who has something to do with the dreams, and they are looking for a magical pendant. Well, obviously it's up to you and your friend to save the girl and stop the bad guys. I mean, come on, you're just a kid in a floating magical spirit ball thing. Well, I guess I have no choice. Klono is a pretty short game, clocking in at about 5 hours to get through the campaign. Once you complete that, several additional items are unlocked, including a way to replay through all the levels backwards, costume changes, a movie viewer, and a time trial mode to see how quickly you can defeat each of the game's bosses. For the most part, the levels are pretty easy, but the final level has a pretty significant difficulty spike, so be ready for that. The game is a single player 2D side scroller with a twist. While you can only go forward and backwards through each level, the levels actually exist in 3D space, so some paths may wrap around and take you outside of the path you're originally on, as well as interact with objects outside of that path. I thought this was a really cool feature and it really gave the game some depth and kept things interesting. Klonoa's little friend Hupo is actually his weapon in the game. Hupo shoots out of a ring and can pick up enemies and shoot them back at other enemies. You can also perform double jumps while holding enemies, which helps you get to otherwise unreachable portions of the levels. You can also hold down the jump button to fly for a short period of time. All in all, everything feels a little, dare I say, old school. There's a boss at the end of every two levels, but none of them really involve a gimmick or anything particularly special in order to defeat. In every instance, you pick up enemies and throw them at the boss. Easy peasy. Obviously the graphics have been improved over the original PlayStation version of the game, but not by much. It's kind of unfortunate that a developer would choose to remake a classic game on the Wii over the 360 or the PS3. Yes, this game was very fun to play and the graphics were bright and cutesy, but they certainly were not mind-blowing by any means. There are cutscenes between each of the levels that give you a bit of the story that you can't help but laugh at how cheesy some of the dialogue is. Along the same lines, while mostly annoying, the voice acting is pretty decent. Watch out for your backside! Klonoa was pretty fun for what it was. It doesn't have the appeal of something like Super Mario Bros. or the complexity of Braid, but it has its perks. It's short and I enjoyed it, but I can't help but feel this game was designed for and thus will be more enjoyed by children. Each of the levels are very well designed and present a variety of puzzles and challenges, and the enemies progressively get a little more difficult, climaxing at a final level that I personally feel may be too hard for the game's primary demographic. Nonetheless, if you like side-scrollers and have an extra 30 bucks sitting around, Klonoa might be worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and register at ZeitgeistGameReview.com.